I think EHF is compelling because it is a, a very unique experiment. Uh, it is the only place in the world where people are being incredibly thoughtful and intentional about who is immigrating to the country and what they're doing in this country. Right? Today, if you look at most of the world, um, immigration is sort of this highly politicized battle where we don't want those kinds of people in the country or they're stealing our jobs. Um, or on the flip side, you have too many people tr trying to get into a country and it's based on who crossed the border first or who already has a relative. Uh, and there's no good system to choose. And, and even the systems that are in place, um, for example, the, the, the U.S. has an H-1B visa, which is supposed to be a skilled visa, or they have an O-1 genius visa. And these things get hacked. They get hacked to import a certain kind of labor, and they have template fill-outs and so on. Whereas I see with EHF, you have intentional immigration design. And then the amount of effort that's taken to acclimate us to New Zealand, it's not like, here you are, welcome to New Zealand, go. Right, which is how most immigration works. Instead, it's here are the Maori people, here's the culture and the history, here's what we care about in the environment, here are people who are working in different sectors and, and what they need help with and what they can help you with. The level of integration that's done, it has to be the most thoughtfully designed immigration program in the world. And if it works well, then you could see it scaling up such that literally New Zealand sucks in a crazy amount of talent and creates a template for the rest of the world. So I think in that sense, it is a solution to the immigration problem being incubated. And that is one of the biggest problems in the world today.